So I cut my hair back in April and um, if you watched that video which I just put up right before this one, um, the main reason I waited till April was because I got married in December and I didn't want my, I didn't want to not like my haircut, um, you know, like for my wedding because my wedding day, you know, important day, pictures, all that jazz. So I decided to keep my hair because I originally I wanted to cut my hair for my birthday I, I was gonna cut my hair then but like I said I was getting married in December so I was like I'll just wait um and the next holiday you know um Easter resurrection day you know just seems like a good time to cut it why not you know if you cut my hair um that was one like the main reason I just wanted a change um my hair had been you know I've been basically growing out my hair for four years prior to that trying to think when I first chopped my hair to like cut off all my relaxer and grow my hair out I think it was like four years um I spent growing my hair out you know growing it and stuff like that and then in September of last year maybe September October my hair started having issues and I on a whim I cut my hair and I think me cutting my hair I caused split ends and which caused breakage and all that kind of jazz and made my hair broke off which there's also a video I think a video of basically my hair breakage and what my hair looked like and and how it was breaking and stuff like that so um it was breaking off and I wanted to cut my hair anyway so I was just like I'll go for it. Um, the last reason is because I was in culinary school. I graduated in June um, as a pastry chef. So um, I wear and I was working in a bakery uh, at Wegmans and I love I love Wegmans. I loved working there. Um, I don't work there currently just because of personal reasons but nothing is the company because I loved that job. Um, but I worked in the bakery and I was wearing a hat all day. Um, all day, every day, uh, I worked probably like six, six, five to six days a week most of the time. And um, I was wearing a hat all the time and then I would go to school and be wearing a hat. So um, not only was my hair breaking, um, but I wasn't really taking care of my hair because it was never out. I was never touching it. I was working, school, mothering, getting ready for a wedding, like so much stuff was going on. And my hair was just breaking off and breaking off and I was just causing damage. And I was just like, okay. Yeah, my hair was jacked to the max, uh, as bad as it's ever been. Never had issues like that, so I chopped my hair off. Recently, I cut it off, and I was going to wear it, um, wear it in a cut style. Not long. Um, originally, I was gonna like just see how I liked it, maybe like two, three months, and see how I liked it. Um, but I just, I love it so much and I think it really look, you know, suits my face and looks good on my face. And, um, that's the main reason why it's now September and I've kept it cut. So April, May, June, July, August, September, six months now that <laughs> my hair has been chopped off. And like I said, I really do love it and I really do enjoy keeping it short. I love this cut. And um, also, you know, going to give me, you know, some something new to go through, like growing out shaved sides and growing out, you know, a cut, a, you know, it's and it's it's shaved. It's not like tapered. So yeah, so it, it's my hair is shaved. It's down to the max. I go to the barbershop. Every time I take my son to the barbershop, I get in the chair, get my hair cut again. Um, I really am enjoying the experience. I have a great barber. He's my cousin and, you know, he makes it a good experience for me. So I, I'm enjoying that part of it. I didn't go to uh, my cousin to get my haircut, who I go to now on the regular, and who I take my son go to, that's so where my husband goes to get his haircut. Um, I didn't go to him because he's just not comfortable cutting off women's hair. And like I said, my hair was, it was pretty long. It was like just touching my shoulder again. So he's just not comfortable. He doesn't really like it. So I was like, I'm not gonna put you through that. I'm just gonna go to somebody else who's cool with cutting off women's hair, but that's still a barber because I wanted a, you know, a barber type cut. I went to a different salon that I usually don't go to um, uh, with a guy that I did know. I knew him from church and I know his wife and stuff like that. So, you know, I did know him, but I've never, you know, went to his salon before. I've never seen him or his barbershop and seen how he cuts hair. And that was a different experience. And then to cut off the top of my hair, he actually got the owner of the shop who is a stylist to do that because he wasn't comfortable 
doing that so in that aspect I can understand you know why men don't want to cut women's hair because it's a different process and it's a different way to cut that's what she did she used the scissors uh, to cut off the top part of my hair so overall the experience is great and like I said I really enjoy going to the barbershop now on the regular I'm, like I said I enjoy the experience and the ease and you know getting that part of my hair taken care of and all I have to do is take care of it, the rest of the top of my hair so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're interested in cutting off your hair i totally say go for it hey if you you've been having the itch you know go for it do do a little something something um i don't regret it like i said i love it but i have my hair long for like i said four to five years so that that got you know satisfied my long hair itch so now i'm satisfying my short hair itch <laughs> Thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.